Hey guys, Resin Rambles 89 back with yet another reaction video today. This time I'll be reacting to Stone Cold talking about a recent embarrassing experience he had at a Nevada restaurant. So this is definitely going to be a funnier, more amusing kind of video. Austin always cracks me up with these, so I thought I'd react to it today. So yeah, without wasting any more time, let's get started. Hell, last night, she can't talk about it because she's over there uh, talking to my nieces who are, who is over here visiting us. I took my wife out last night. I said, man, let's go get some uh, something to eat. And so I went to this place we had been before, and I said, I think I remember the food was pretty good there. Nice. So we go in there, and we eat, and the uh, food was average at best. I got mm. a, a, a margarita that wasn't worth a shit, and I said, Damn. I didn't drink that. I said, let me let me try Jack and Coke. My and that was all watered down and too God, sweet. And I, I shit canned that. I said, man, do y'all have an IPA on draft? Uh, said, yeah, we do. I said, what is it? He said, Lagunitas. I said, all right, I'll take the IPA. Why I would not? rather have drank a Broken Skull Ranch IPA, but they don't Hell sell yeah. it in uh this part of nevada well they don't sell in nevada period so i get the lagunitas uh, ipa and that's pretty good beer but this one was flat because it had been there too long it had probably expired but anyway uh the beer was flat so i didn't drink that so there's a whole beer shit. sitting on the edge of the table we finish our food the waitress comes over there she goes y'all want dessert coffee anything i hate when they ask you if you want dessert or coffee or anything because i'm never going to drink coffee after i eat and i damn sure don't need dessert so anyway, yeah. I handed the lady the credit card and said, no, nah, man, we're ready to go. So she takes care of the credit card and she comes back. And as she's putting on the table, that full glass of IPA that I just told you about, she promptly spills that all across the top of the table. Ooh. And it's heading right for my wife's purse. And it gets all over her billfold. And then mm. it gets all over the leg of her denim jeans she's got on. <laughs> And she jumps up, and I'm trying to use the tablecloth to damn wipe everything down and use my napkin to try to make the save be a hero. My <laughs> wife is covered with beer. And, man, the lady was apologizing and everything like that. It was an accident. No big deal. So we're walking to the truck, and I'm telling her. I said, hell, man. I said, I ain't had nothing to drink because all my drinks were the shits. Yeah. <laughs> but if we could pull over, it's going to smell like I've been drinking because you smell like a big-ass, stale IPA. <laughs> so anyway, we made it home. My wife took a shower, to, and that was about it. And then once we got to the house, I made a proper margarita using lime juice and my secret ingredients to make nice a proper stuff. margarita because I didn't get one at the goddamn restaurant. So I made one at the house, drank that down, and then we got ready for bed, and I was able Good stuff. Yeah, it wasn't as funny as I was expecting, which is a shame, but that sounded like one big clusterfuck, just one mishap after another, shitty beer, still maybe out of date beer, expired beer, I don't know what the hell was wrong with it, but of all people in the world you want to serve a beer to, make sure when it's Stone Cold Steve Austin you serve him a good one, because I would not want to be on the end of Stone Cold when you mess with his beer. But yeah, that was an interesting enough video. I apologise, it wasn't as funny as I was expecting, but it's hit and miss, that's the way these things go. Still, I hope you enjoyed, thank you so much for watching as always, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. This is Wrestling Rambles 89 signing off.